Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make tuna noodle casserole. This recipe right here is amazing. So easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my tuna noodle casserole before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. First thing that you will need would be some, I have some uh, tri-colored rotini noodles, okay? And they're spiral, and I have already cooked them, but we'll talk about that uh, in the video. You will need some cream of mushroom, that's what we have here, and we have cream of chicken. If you're the person that doesn't like one or the other, it's okay to use two cream of chickens or two cream of mushroom. But if you want to, you can also do like I'm doing today and use one of each. I was able to find some Velveeta cheese sauce today. You are more than welcome to use any kind of cheese that you love, okay? So now right here, we have uh, tuna that was packed in oil. And then you're going to need some crackers. If you don't want to use crackers, you can also use like potato chips. And we'll talk about during this video what we're going to use this for. It gets really interesting. We have some parsley flakes, that's just for color, make it look nice and beautiful, and a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. So right here, we have some garlic and onion powder, black pepper and salt, and we have a nice sweet onion. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet yeah, so tasty recipe. I'd like to start off by saying, I hope that you all are having a great day today with God on your side. So now, let me know also in the comment section below, have you ever heard of tuna noodle casserole? Did you grow up on it? Let me know your memories, um, because this is a dish that I grew up on. It was like in my household that I grew up on, we always had tuna noodle casserole, and I totally loved it. But I found a way to kind of uh, alter the flavor a little bit by adding cheese. Sometimes you'll even see me put like a frozen bag of mixed vegetables in there. There's all kinds of things that you could do to this recipe to really bump it up. So now, first thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and get started chopping up some onions just like so. I'm not going to use too much because using too much can kind of like overwhelm the situation. I have a small onion here that we'll be using today. <clears throat> And we're just going to chop it up. Okay, tuna noodle casserole is so delicious. And what I love about tuna noodle casserole is it has a really creamy consistency. And the creamy comes from the uh, cream soups that we're going to be using, the cream of mushroom, the cream of chicken. And I love that. And then you turn around and put cheese in it. Listen, here, there's nothing like it. I love recipes that are like casserole like you just kind of throw it together really quickly throw that baby in the oven and dinner is ready and everybody loves it even the kids and you know sometimes kids can be kind of picky when it comes to things like maybe tuna but this here it's a promise that they're going to love 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 this recipe and you know what i was thinking i was thinking that i'm going to come on here one day and I'm gonna do this recipe with chicken. You know, and we could call it chicken noodle casserole. And I just feel like it would be so delicious. Because there's always, you know, somebody out there that's gonna say, but what if my family doesn't eat seafood? Like my husband doesn't like, you know, you know, it's always gonna be that peop those, those people. Well, you could use chicken. Boil you some chicken. Get one of the rotisserie chickens from your local market. You know, pull the meat off, take, discard the skin and the bones, throw that in here and use the same recipe and have fun with it, right? So I was thinking about that and I'm so glad that I remembered to tell you all of an, a different possibility of what you could turn this into. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get the onion in. I boiled my noodles and let me just tell you how I like to boil my noodles. So I used about a pound, I used one pound box and then a little bit of another box. <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to boil my water <clears throat> and salt the water. You're salting the water because you want to give your noodles some flavor. That's if you're making rice, if you're making potatoes or noodles, always salt the water to give it some flavor. So 
The water is boiling. We salted the water and then we cooked the noodles only for 11 minutes. 11 minutes is all you need to make your noodles perfect. Nice and al dente. Well, what's al dente? It's chewy to the tooth and it's never mushy because one thing that you don't want is a mushy noodle. It's like the worst thing in the world, right? So you cook them for 11 minutes, they turn out perfect every time. So now, when I come back, I would have opened these two cans and then I'll show you all what we're gonna do next. Now, what I wanna do is I want to add some ingredients, if that's okay. I think that's a better way for saying, uh, I almost forgot, <laughs> but it's, it's never too late. Okay, so we are going to add some milk, okay? And then I'm also gonna add a couple of tads of butter, okay? So now, <clears throat> we're going to take the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom, and I just wanna put it into a bowl really quickly. Okay, so I'm using a soft spatula so I can get all the contents out, just like so. I, I could have used a smaller bowl, but it's okay. We'll work with it, right? As long as you can see what I'm doing. All right, so let's get this out. Um, now, let's also talk about this beautiful Velveeta cheese sauce that I was able to find. If you can't find this, in the soup aisle, you can find a can about this size. It would be like a 10.5 ounce. And it's, it, I don't know if it's made by Campbell's, but you can find a cheese sauce in the soup aisle, okay? So if you wanna use that, that's fine, or if you just have some craft singles in the refrigerator, you can use that, okay? So if you're the person that you decide, heck, I got cheese in the refrigerator, you take that cheese, and what you're gonna do after you get everything nice and mixed up, you're gonna just, uh, just fold it into the whole mixture, okay? And if you wanna, if you're using shredded cheese, I would say use a cup, you know, and if you're using like craft singles, I'd say probably use about six slices, okay? Just to give you that cheesy feel. Okay, so now that we have the two cream of soups here in our bowl, we're gonna add some milk. What's the milk for? Well, the milk is really just to thin out the sauce, okay? Cause right there, that's way too thick, right? So I'm gonna take my whisk here and I really wanna incorporate the milk with the two cream soups until it thins out a bit because we need a sauce, but we don't want a sauce this thick. You know, this thick wouldn't work, okay? So now I'm gonna keep adding the sauce until I have, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep adding the milk until I get like a saucy consistency. Once I get this nice and mixed up, I'm gonna come back and show you the consistency that you're looking for. So the first thing that I wanna do is show you all the consistency that we're looking for. Now, I happen to use, I think that was like a cup and a half, right? But this is the consistency that I want you to look for. Look at that. It's not thick anymore, it's creamy, and actually it looks really beautiful, right? Look at that, okay? So that's what I'm looking for, okay? So now, if you're using shredded cheese, you can put your cheese in here, or you can just throw it right on top of your noodles. So right here, I am using two of the packets of this gorgeous cheese sauce, and I tell you one thing, this cheese sauce is good. You hear me? This is like the stuff that you can get in the uh, macaroni and cheese boxes. That's the kind of mac and cheese we buy that has this gorgeous cheese sauce in it. So now that we have all the contents out, let me wipe my hands off. Okay, I'm coming right back into the equation. And now let's go ahead and whisk in the, che the cheese. Years ago, let's talk about this really quickly. Years and years ago, I always made delicious tuna noodle casserole, but I didn't put cheese in it, right? And so this is kind of like a new thing, I guess within, I don't know, maybe the past five years I started using cheese and I said, I will never ever make another tuna noodle casserole without putting some type of cheese in there, okay? And like I said, please remember that I'm telling you all, use any kind of cheese that you have, any kind of cheese you love. It doesn't have to be a cheese sauce, but if you can find it, you know. All right, so now that I have this mixed up, let's bring our cooked noodles and our onions back into the equation. And I decided to put some butter in, just throw the tads in, in there. And you know, they're gonna give some amazing flavor all right, and then we're gonna season the noodles, okay? That's salt, okay? Don't get crazy with the salt because your loved ones can season their plate, you know, as they make their plate. There's pepper, a nice amount of it, not too much to make me 
sneeze, you know. And then uh, we're going to go in with a nice amount of garlic powder. Don't you dare. Don't be afraid to season. If you're that person, you're out there, and you're afraid to season your food, guess what's going to happen? Your food will be flavorless. You don't want that. So don't be afraid to season. Only seasoning I want you guys to be careful of is um, something like lemon pepper and salt. Okay, you got to really watch those two. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave the seasonings on there right there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's take our sauce. Uh, <laughs> you bet. You bet we are. We're going to do just like that. Okay. So now what I need to do is I really need to move my noodles around so that nothing overflows, okay? So we gotta pour the sauce in nice and slowly. Okay, and the next thing that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be putting our tuna in there. And guess what? This dish comes together so quickly. So if you're, you, if you're a parent on the go, you know, a single couple, whatever, you got a big family, this is for you. It's quick, it's simple, it doesn't hardly cost anything to make, and it doesn't matter who it is, everybody's gonna love it. You hear me? And that's a promise that they're gonna love this here recipe, okay? So I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. When I come back, we'll get started mixing everything and throwing in that tuna. So let me show you just how creamy and dreamy this is, because it is. Oh, that's where I get excited. Look at that beautiful creamy and dreamy as we just spoke of okay so now i'm going to do this again we're going to fix the lighting so you can get an even better picture on this stir now listen i'd want to talk about something this recipe right here you can stop right here and that's a meal in itself it does not have to have fish in it it does not have to have chicken in it you could put cubed up ham in here uh, you know, like have fun with this recipe, but for the people that don't eat meat, you don't eat fish, make it this way. Now, some of you right now, you're wondering, okay, so what was the crackers for? The crackers, what we're going to do, the kind that I grew up on uh, in my childhood, uh, they would use potato chips or, or crackers, but most of the time I feel like it was potato chips. You crush them up. You put them on top, you bake them in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. They get nice, beautiful, and crispy and just really delicious, right? But you can't put the crackers on right now. How come? Well, because we want the onions to get cooked, okay? We want everything to heat up. Let's let those onions get nice and cooked with aluminum foil on, on it when it goes in the oven, 350 degrees. And then when this has like 10 minutes left to cook, We'll take it out of the oven, we'll crush up some crackers or potato chips, throw it on top and throw it back in the oven for 10 minutes. Time to put one of the stars in. <laughs> I was going to say the main star, but I tell you what, it's not the main star because so many of these ingredients could be the main star. <laughs> like the noodles, the cheese, how about the butter and the spices, you know, like, okay, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to put three cans in there. So what I'm going to do since I'm undecisive, I'm going to mix this up and see how much tuna is actually in there. And then if it's not enough, I'm going to put some more in. Okay. All right. So let's give it a nice stir just like so. Everything smells so beautiful. We got those spices mixed in. Make sure you have aluminum foil. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of the other one. Okay. Just, just a little bit. All right, like I said, I always use the tuna that was packed in oil. I'm not a fan of the tuna that was packed in water because I feel like it's really dry. All right, so now, here we go. We're going to grab our foil. I got my oven preheated, 350 degrees. This goes in the oven. The last 10 minutes of the cooking process, we take it out, put some crumbled crackers on top, let it bake for 10 minutes, and guess what? Voila, dinner is served. You'll see Listen when I come to the oven back. Three. 175 degrees until it's golden brown. When I come back, I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style homemade tuna noodle casserole. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a really quick prayer. And then after the prayer, 
you get to taste a bite. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for a beautiful day. We thank you for this gorgeous meal. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. See, this right here, this right here is what you need to see. <laughs> you have to see that. Oh, my goodness. And you got the crispy, buttery crackers on top. This right here is heaven on a plate. Oh, make you some Gina Young style. I can't taste it. I cannot taste it because you can see it's way too hot. But look at this. Oh, yeah. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Good night.